Inspired by the artists Harry and Dipti and their beautiful artwork, I decided to create a 3D paper cut light box. It can be used as a wonderful home decor or a unique birthday or wedding gift. You can mount it on a wall or place it on a desk and enjoy its charming beauty. Basically, this light box consists of paper cutouts layered on each other in a box with a glass panel. LED lights are placed behind all the layers, which makes each layer glow, giving this three-dimensional look. In this video, I'll show you how I made this light box step by step, and also I'll give you some tips that will help you achieve the desired effect. I created the design for this light box and made a template that you can find in the video description below. So, the first thing you need to do is to download and print out the template. It's made for a 20 by 25 cm light box, but you can scale it up and down if needed. You can also make your own unique design. I recommend using 170 grams white cardstock because it's stiff enough to stand up and thin enough to let the light pass through. Draw the first layer of your design onto the cardstock and add a border on each layer around 1 cm. This will help you glue the layers much easier. You'll never see anything here. And then cut it out using an X-Acto knife. X-Acto knife is an original cutting tool designed to deliver the sharpest, most accurate cut on your projects. I didn't have one at home, so I used this utility knife and it turned out quite well. After that, place the first layer onto another piece of cardstock and draw the next layer. Remove the first layer and finish the second one. Cut it out and repeat this process until you are done with all the layers. The more layers you make, the better the effect you get. As you can see, my fourth layer is without design with one half missing. This is because I wanted to create a water reflection effect. This is how it works. This layer will be placed behind the layer with a horse and in front of the upside down layer. The paper left in the fourth layer will hide the reflection at first, but it will appear when the light is on. For this layer I used an 80 grams copy paper for a better transparency effect. On the last layer I made a large moon and stars. For the moon I've cut a circle with my utility knife and for the stars I've put the cardstock on a foam board and made small holes with a pin. Don't forget about the borders. The layers are reassembled with foam spacers in between each one. This gives the image the appearance of depth and creates a 3D effect. I cut out the foam spacers. They're all 1 cm wide. I cut 12 spacers 25 cm long and another 12 spacers 18 cm long. There should be 4 spacers on each layer. Then I glued the layers together. I'm going to glue spacers around the edges of the first layer and then glue the next layer on top of it. Make sure the layers are properly lined up. To get a reflection effect, you don't have to separate those three layers with spacers. Instead, you should glue them together. The water layer goes behind the horse layer and then the upside down layer goes behind the water layer. Repeat this process until all the layers are glued together. Now we have all the layers. Ok, now it is time to make the wooden frame. You can also buy pre-made boxes, but I like working with wood, so I created mine. Measure the thickness of your paper layers plus about 2 cm space for lights, frame and the glass panel. The depth of my box is 8 cm. I used a handsaw to cut two pieces 27 cm long and two pieces 20 cm long. Then I glued the box with a wood glue and used some clamps to hold everything in place while it dried. To keep the glass in place, I needed to make another frame inside the box with a wood stripe 1 by 1 cm. So I cut two pieces 25 cm long and two pieces 18 cm long. I glued them inside the box and left them to dry out. After that, we need to paint the light box. You can paint the outside however you want, but paint the back piece white so you don't have to cover it with a piece of cardstock. I painted the entire box white. 
For the back piece, I used a piece of plywood, white on one side, so I needed to paint the back side because, as I already said, I wanted my box to be completely white. The dimensions of the plywood are 27 by 22 cm, 3 mm thick. Also, I made a 5 by 15 mm hole for the light power to fit through. Once they are dry, I can put the glass into the box and then push the cardstock and foam core layers into the light box until they touch the glass. Don't forget to clean the glass from the inside because you won't be able to remove the layers without ruining them. Now let's put some lights in the box. I had 200 grams cardstock and I wasn't sure how much the light will pass through all the layers. So I decided to put a light strip all around the box. I cut the lights to the right length, around 90 cm and stuck inside the box. You can put them wherever you want. You can use different light sources, for example fairy lights or LED lights, it depends on you. I highly recommend using RGB LED strip lights because they are self-adhesive, flexible, you can cut them to size and you can easily change colors, which will provide better effect. Also, they barely generate any heat, so they are perfect for this kind of project. Once I'm done with the lights, I thread the power cord through and glued the back down. Now your 3D paper cut light box is complete. Turn your light box on and admire the amazing result. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful DIY. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.